Hi, baby. Hello, Hi, Lorraine. Sister Angelita. Hi. Coming, coming. Okay, we're going live now in Facebook. Good morning. Good morning, guy. Good guy. Hello. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Just a reminder to everyone, once the Holy Mass starts, the host will mute everyone. Only those who will have parts uh, during the Mass, please remember when to unmute yourselves. Hi, Jeff. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Sister Victoria. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Sister Goda. Hi, baby. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Tess. Hi, Tess. I see Tess. Good morning, baby. How are you? Oh, Hi, Tess. Tess. Hi, Tess. Hi, Tess. Hi, Tess. Okay, I'll now be muting everyone. Until later. Good morning and good evening, fellow alumni, members of the board, friends, Ladies and gentlemen, we shall now begin the Thanksgiving Mass, but before that, may we request everyone to please mute your microphones during the Mass, except for the readers and the commentator. Thank you. Our priest presider for today is Father Anselm Manalastas, OSB, who, by the way, also presided our Lenten recollection in March of this year. Let us now begin the opening song. Arlene, walang sound. Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father 
And the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, with gratitude to God, we celebrate the anniversary of your Alumni Foundation. And with gratitude also, we thank God for the gift of freedom, for the gift of independence. On this day, we thank God that he has given us this, our great nation. And we pray to him that he may guide our people into peace, prosperity, and harmony. Also today, we pay tribute to Mary, our mother, under the title of the Immaculate Heart. And so confident in the Father's love for us, we now acknowledge our sins and ask pardon for them. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my and brothers, my brothers and, sisters, and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my in words. My thoughts and in, my words. in what I have done in and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God of heaven and earth, your Son, Jesus, the Lord, while dying on the altar of the cross, showed Mary, his mother, to be our mother also. Grant that we who entrust ourselves to her maternal care may always be protected when we call upon her name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one Amen. God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us. Once we have come to the conviction that one died, all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh, even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh. Yet now, we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. And all this is from God who has reconciled us to himself through Christ and given us the ministry of reconciliation. Namely, God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. So we are ambassadors for Christ as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become righteousness of God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to Thanks God. Be to God. Our response, the Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord. O oh, my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction 
He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. He will not always chide, nor does He keep His wrath forever. Mm -hmm. Not according to our sins does He deal with us, nor does He requite us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is His kindness toward those who fear Him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from mm. us. The Lord is kind and merciful. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is the Virgin Mary who kept the word of God and pondered it in her heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, mm -hmm. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take a false oath. But make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is in the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more, is from the evil one. The Gospel mm -hmm. of the Lord. Praise to you, Praise. O Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, I am so happy to be celebrating this Mass together with friends from the College of the Holy Spirit Alumni Foundation. And of course, I am so happy too to be celebrating this Mass together with our dear sisters from Ponsetia, you know, in Mendiola, we are all neighbors. And as good neighbors, we care for one another. So I would like to greet our sisters in behalf of the other monks. A good morning. And I hope that you are happy, that you are joyful, that you are cheerful, and that you are healthy. You know, dear friends, I really like our first reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. It is Christ, his love for us, that impels us. It is the love of Christ that propels us, that moves us into living a different life. The call of God to each and every one of us is an important element of our faith. And that gift is not only meant for us, it is meant for others. There is a good lesson in, in, in philosophy that I learned, and I am aware of this, I'm sure of this because I was awake when the teacher was uh, teaching us this. He, he said, Bonum divisibum sui. Yes, itself. Good motivates itself. Yeah. So the goodness that Christ implanted to each and every alumna of the College of the Holy Spirit diffuses itself, propagates itself. And that's why I'm so happy with your alumni foundation because you try to make a difference in the lives of the students who are otherwise unable to go to school because of financial constraints. You are there to help them. And that's a good thing because the goodness that God implanted in you, you try to propagate. You try to spread far and wide. And that is not only true of our helping other people in terms of material things. No, the time that we give to one another especially in these trying times, that 
is our way of propagating the goodness of God in us. Nowadays, it's so easy to shut yourself down because you have plenty of things to think about for yourself. But as a good Christian, this first reading tells us it's the love of Christ that impels you to do what is good for others. And you know, St. Paul was very realistic when he said, you know why we should do this? Because Christ himself offered himself for us. Even if we are unworthy of that love, even if we are unworthy of his mercy, even if we are unworthy of his compassion. Yet, in the overflowing of his love for us, he loves us unconditionally. And therefore, our prayer is that at least we should mirror every so often, every once in a while, the goodness that God implanted in our hearts. Bonum difficibum suvi, good diffuses itself. And we can even say, amore difficibum suvi, love diffuses itself. May all of us strive to be just that, a mirror of Christ's love for us. Amen. Now, we shall have the prayers for the College of the Holy Spirit community. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Thank you. May the Holy Spirit guide them and be for our SSPS sisters. May the Holy Spirit guide them and be their source of grace and enlightenment as they discern their calling and mission of serving the poor, the marginalized, and the vulnerable. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Thank you. May our dear SSPS sisters be blessed with good health and immunity from the COVID-19 virus and other illnesses. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord. We pray for our elderly sisters, those who are ill and bedridden, those who have limited mobility. May you give them fortitude to bear their pains and discomfort. May this time in their lives be an opportunity to continue serving you through prayer. Let us pray. Lord, Lord, Lord hear Lord, our prayer. prayer. Yola. Yeah. Could we have the okay. for our College of the Holy Spirit in the Yola community, for all the CHSM administrators, faculty, staff, and students who will be leaving the portals of CHSM this 2021. May the Holy Try and God bless each one as they move on in their lives and respective careers. May the administrators, faculty, and staff find gainful employment elsewhere. May all the students be able to complete their education in new schools that will welcome them and be their new homes. May the teachings learned at CHSM serve as their guide in life. Let us pray. Lord, 
Yola. Next screen, please. Next slide, please. Arlene. For the senior high school students and college students who will be graduating by the end of academic year 2021-2022, may they value the education they are privileged to receive from CHSM. Let us pray. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. For all the scholars who were supported by CHSM, Chesaf and Chesna, mm -hmm. treasure the opportunity they have to receive one of the best Catholic education possible. And may they be good Christian examples in their family, community, and in their workplace. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. Mm -hmm. Gloria. For the Chesov and all CHS alumni, for the College of the Holy Spirit Alumni Foundation, as we celebrate its Ruby anniversary, may Chesov continue to be an organization that binds all the CHS alumni and students. May the Holy Spirit guide it in all its activities for spiritual uplift and enrichment webinars to be responsive to the needs of all alumni, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the good health, safety, and protection of our CHS alumni from COVID and other illnesses. May those who are sick experience your healing touch and may they never lose faith that you are our greatest healer. May we unite our sufferings during this time of pandemic <laughs> To your sufferings on the cross, let us pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. May all CHS alumni be witnesses of God's love and live by the virtues of truth and love. Let us pray. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Your name. For us alumni, may we come forth out of this pandemic as faithful and bold witnesses to the love of God in the power of the Holy Spirit. May we be inspired and motivated to keep the spirit alive with memories we treasure from our beloved CHS. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the retired and elderly alumni all over the globe, may there be a new springtime in their lives to overcome health challenges and continued perseverance and strength in their relationship with God, the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For our deceased CHS alumni, for the eternal repose of the souls of all College of the Holy Spirit alumni, our beloved SSPS sisters and teachers who have gone ahead of us. May they all rest in peace with our Lord in their heavenly home. Let us pray. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence and lift up all our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Father. Heavenly Father, grant us the prayers that we offer you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We will now have our communion hymn, our offertory hymn. Uh, Father, wala. Wala. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Ayo gumalaw. Nako your mind. God of all creation. For through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. 
Blessed, Blessed be God forever. That my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, by the ministry of your church, in your kindness, have mercy on the offering that we that we now present to your altar in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give them to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, the right and just. Father, our powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. Yes, we celebrate the memorial of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, she became the Virgin Mother of your only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ who is forever the light of the world. Through him, the choirs of angels and all the powers of heaven praise and worship your glory. May our voices blend with theirs as we join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. In the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the night he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this life-giving bread, this saving cup, we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Arnold Johnson, St. Joseph, Reinade Metz, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now we pray to the Father in the words Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth 
as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the love and the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit, Father. We offer one another our sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus Christ, the Son of God and the Son of Mary. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We shall now recite the act of spiritual communion. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least if spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you, are, you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body must yeah. rise. Amen. Amen. We will now have our communion song. Arlene?
JB for the Horatio Imperata. Horatio Imperata, God of mercy and compassion, we come to you in the midst of our sufferings due to the COVID-19 pandemic and ask for your healing love to overcome our fear of sickness and death and to restore our hope and faith. We pray for all health workers who are the frontliners in serving and healing the victims of the virus. Protect them and grant them your inspiration to sustain them in body, mind, heart, and spirit. And for those who fell ill and passed on, reward them with eternal life with you and consolation for their loved ones. For all who work tirelessly to serve the needs of the people, keep them safe too and grant them your guidance, most especially our leaders, to selflessly work for the common good and find meaning in their service. We pray for the victims of this virus, the dying and those who have died in agony and loneliness, that their suffering be their participation in the suffering of your son that redeemed us. For all who are infected, heal them and grant them full recovery. Continue to guide our experts tasked to find effective vaccines and cures for this virus. Use them as instruments in your healing hands. We ask all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son and our divine healer, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection of Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and ever blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, help of all Christians and health of the sick, Pray, pray for us. us. Our Lady of Fatima. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calonsod. Pray for us. For us. Saint Arnold Jansen, pray for us. Saint Joseph Freina de Metz, pray for us. Blessed Mother Maria, pray for us. Blessed Mother Josepha, pray for us. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Santo Nino de Cebu, have mercy on us. Divine Mercy, have mercy on us. Father. As he hung upon the cross, Jesus said to the disciple whom he loved, Behold, your mother. Let us pray. Lord, we have received the foretaste and promise of the fullness of redemption. We pray that your church, through the intercession of the Virgin Mother, may proclaim the gospel to all nations, and by the power of the Spirit, reach to the ends of the earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. 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 Face Amen. And upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. 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 Upon you with kindness and shower you with his gifts of health and peace. Amen. 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 And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Offer the Eucharist, let us now go and be heralds of God's love. Amen. Thanks, Thanks be Amen. to God. Thanks be to God. We will have the final hymn.
ko mahina ang dating ko sa kanya. Our, in, our country's Independence Day. So wouldn't it be nice and a good exercise for us as beautiful Filipinos let us sing our national anthem. Bayang mag-ibig Ay, nako, hindi na kayo marunong magpawit ng lupang inira. <laughs> Ay, marunong magpawit. Eh, kasi yung Zoom, maraming mataas pa. Eh, panatang makabayan. So, ayaw, 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 panatang makabayan, oh, no. Together with all the other, our alumni, hindi na kayo marunong kumanta ng night. And I look forward to seeing you one of these days when senior citizens would be allowed to go out. <laughs> Amen. Pwede na, Father. Thank you very much, Father Ansel. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Salamat to you. Now remember to be always happy and cheerful and healthy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. All right. Thank you also to the readers and commentators who were all past presidents of CHESA. And thank you, Banji Kua, for, as always, organizing the masses. Yes, thank we shall you, now, You're Yes, thank you. we shall now uh, begin the second part of the program. Uh, may I please uh, request everyone to... Thank you, Father. 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 <laughs> may I now request everyone to please mute your microphones, please. Thank you very much. Um, you know, Chesaf has prepared quite a show today. It will be composed of a set of stories caught on camera of those whose memories are still sharp and vivid and could still recall the beginnings, the history, and the achievements of Chesaf. We have created a tapestry of stories that will make the younger generation know and understand what Chesaf is all about and be proud of its accomplishments. Because it is the youth of today that will let the spirit live on in the next 40 years and beyond. Before we move on, allow me first to acknowledge our partner and donors for this event. We have SPES Construction Incorporated as our partner, and we have our donors, the ever generous batch of 1968, yay! And the Ong sisters, na namely, Maria Luisa Ong Ang of HS69, Josefina Ong Maldonado of HS72, Marianelia Ong Velez of HS75, and Guillermina Ong, our president of HS68. We also have an anonymous donor, 
Thank you so much for all of your donations. And a big thanks also goes to Rosario or Chi Paninstante of BFA 1984, a former faculty uh, member of the CHS Manila and is now based in Dubai. She was the one who designed our very attractive 40th anniversary logo. So without further ado, let me introduce the president of CHESA, Ms. Ging Ong, to give the opening remarks. Good morning, Manila. Good evening, North America. Dear alumni from near and far, thank you for joining us as we celebrate a milestone in the life of the College of the Holy Spirit Alumni Foundation and it's 40 years of nurturing the ideals of the CHC and motto, Veritas in Caritate, Truth in Love. From its humble beginnings in 1947, as the College of the Holy Spirit Alumni Association, whose original thrust was on a social action aspect, it has evolved into a more formal organization where various alumni classes have taken on fundraising activities to support scholarships for the financially challenged. It also ushered in the strengthening of communication bonds between the alumni, both local and abroad, through the birth of our newsletter, The We, and the alumni directory, which to this day has been continually updated. In these latter years, our yearly homecoming jubilee celebrations have fostered increased camaraderie between the alumni, bolstered also by the creation of a revitalized website, which mm -hmm. provides easy access to all Chesham members. Kudos to the founders of the College of the Holy Spirit Alumni Association to its rebirth into the College of the Holy Spirit Alumni Foundation, to all its honored past presidents and their board of trustees who made this 40 years journey possible. As we look to the future, we, the legacy of our 108 year old institution, our beloved alma mater, the College of the Holy Spirit, will work towards keeping this legacy so that the spirit lives on. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much, Ging. Uh, in welcome. the past, we played the Alma Mater song at the end of the program. This time we will start with it to sort of set the nostalgic tone for the succeeding parts of the program. Arlene, can we please play, play the Alma Mater?
hope you like the ground and drone images of our And the school. music. The music is so nice this time. Thank you. Um, Where did you get that? The, is that a uh, new version? No, it's a, it's a version of um, Agat. Uh, she's a graduate of uh, Holy Spirit, Tarla. Oh, I love the um, music. Ganda. Okay. So we also, uh, the, the images were courtesy of DL Pro Photos and Videos, and they also helped us put together our four-part video presentation, the first of which will be shown now. It is entitled Chesaf and its Origins. HSM Beyond. CHESAF is an aggregation of women of substance bound together by a common interest to serve with truth in charity. CHESAF is the spirit's vessel. CHESAF is for CHS by CHS. CHESAF is spirit in sharing to me. For me, Chesaf is the Holy Spirit in action. Chesaf is our alumni home. Chesaf for me is selfless service. Chesaf for me is the changing of the seasons. Chesaf is dynamic interaction. Chesaf is wholesome formative experience. Chesaf is continued connection among alumni. Chesaf is where we define ourselves. Chesaf is a chain of love. Chesaf is friendship and giving back. Chesaf builds bridges of love and friendship. Chesaf to me is a bridge. It's a bridge from the past to the present to the future. was of course Holy Ghost College Alumni Association. Uh, I, I finished college in 1957 and I was asked by the superiors to in the school to work at the registrar's office and in the afternoon help Sister Geriona to set up the alumni foundation office. Along College of the Holy Spirit uh, um, Alumni Foundation Office. So I knew the first five presidents, personally, at close range. That started in 1952 with Juanita Valera, high school um, 50, wait a minute, high school, uh, oh, wait a minute, high school, see Juanita Valera was high school 26. She was the first president. But at that time, in 1957, the very active ones were Juanita Valera and Pasita Saragosa Araneta. But when I look at the five first presidents, the second was Teresita Nitoreta, High School 48 and BSP 52, Irma Shotwell, Rod Ruth Shotwell, Carmen, Lab uh, Carmen Lobregat, High School 54, 62 to 63, and Pasit Saragosa Araneta, High School 29. When I was looking at their, these ladies, they surely were preparing for the Silver Jubilee of Class 29. Because they, they, started, they, started, class, uh, with, they started the association in 1952. But, you know, um, the commitment of these ladies was amazing. Second two, of course, uh, ghost has a, uh, I, I guess that is it. Uh, ghost has a, it doesn't, spirit brings out 
the essence of the Holy Spirit. And also the motto also changed from Veritas et Caritas to begin Veritas in Caritate, truth and love at the beginning, and then it became truth in love, which is more biblical. I don't think so, because uh, HGCAA was already there in 1952, and the free school came in only in 1958. But surely, from the start of the free school, I am positive that they supported. Because, uh, as I told you, I came in 57, and these two ladies, and there was a third one, but she could not be very much involved. They made just the other two as well because she was very active in FEU. Well, those were the three ladies that were always around. No? Now, um, the involvement of the Holy Spirit uh, Alumni Association with the free school came when the original building was demolished. The original free school was the residence of the Ferriol sisters. Sister Cyrilda, Sister Cristina Maria, Sister Giovanna, and Father Roque Ferriols. All four of them became religious, so the parents offered their residence as a catechetical center in 1948. So I believe seeing the number of poor children, because that is the near the realest, uh, that is in Kundiman Street, um, we sent the uh, no, Pilion show before, now Maria Clara, it's bounded by three streets. No? So I guess the idea came from the many small children. And they asked for volunteers. Most of the volunteer catechists, because the sisters were Germans, German sisters, and uh, hardly anybody spoke Filipino. So most of the volunteer catechists were interns. But since we were near, living nearby, they would pass for me. I was in grade five. So I'm very sure that was the idea that came to the sisters. But the alumni being very much involved with the mission of the sisters, which I can see goes up to this generation. I'm really touched to tears when I see how committed our alumni are to our mission. No? Because you are really the legacy. No? Uh, so I'm very sure they were, they were very much involved. But in the early 60s, the uh, house, the two-story two building was too small. So they had to build. And I remember seeing it once. And I saw every classroom with a class. High school so and so, high school, our class had one, you know. So they were very much in. The mission to set up the foundation can be attributed to the board of 1981, led by the late Mirna Almario Adriano. Our board then was composed of like minded, empowered women who were influential in their own fields. So we really had a good mix and had a wide perspective on issues and possibilities. Together, we drafted the Constitution with different viewpoints and common goals we started what we believe to be a strong foundation. Our moderator at that time was the late Sister Bellarmine, who also helped us. But setting up the foundation was the main goal of our board. Being made aware of the needs and goals of the school, we relied on the support of the other alumni and the school administration. What we remember, what I remember, is that it was a long but rewarding process that took several months of interesting and valuable idea exchange. Mm -hmm. We understood more about the issues as we learned from each other. I hope that the foundation can continue to grow to a constant, healthy collaboration as we did from the beginning. Well, for the high school batches, you go by batch of the year you graduated, no? Now, for the college, we thought in the beginning, because there were only a very few of us, to, to get from all courses, from all departments, and from all years. Okay, so no segregation of by, by year or by course. So it's integrated for all. In the presentation of the alumni homecoming, it's all high school batches. Walang college. So when I joined the board, sabi ni, at that time it was Tess Liave was the president, sabi niya, oh, ano ang sa college? 
Sabi ko, pwede ba ang college naman magkakaroon din ng presentation? What happened was, we had a singing number for that, uh, uh, what do you call this, the 2017 Gen- uh, February show. We had a, a participation. And to make more college students participate, we just had a song number. Those were the days, okay? The problem is the pandemic came. Ang daming gustong sumali na, yung, lalo na yung mga from abroad. No? Yung mga iba, kahit na hindi sila part ng college, they were high school graduates but they went to another school. Sumasama na sa amin. Sabi ko, okay lang, okay lang. Mga pareho naman tayo lahat, mga alumni. Okay? So, kanya lang, the plan, you know, nangyari yung COVID. So, I hope the the next one in February for the Ruby Jubilarians, I hope, uh, what do you call this, this will be okay na. Okay na, uh, may herd immunity na tayo. Grabe, believe talaga ako kay Sister Victricia. Sharp pa ang memory niya. Sana I'll be like her when when and if I ever get her age. Siguro we should give her the Encyclopedia Britannica Award for being the best reference for both Chesop's distant and recent history. You are really something, Sister Victricia. So we'll now go to the lighter side of Chesaf with a performance of Chesaf heavyweights, not physically, but for the amount of work and dedication they have given to Chesaf. I refer to the former and present Chesaf secretariats, Tita Tessie Villanueva, who is in fact my ninang sa Kompil, Benjo Macaso, Cora Parco, Rose Monasterial, and of course, the ever so accommodating Dali Gabriel. They will show us their special TikTok performance. Take it away, ladies. <laughs> Sugar. Malaban pa sa mga bata ngayon, no? Okay, now comes the exciting part of our program, the video challenge. We have three contestants vying to become Chesaf's very first 
Reina ng video ko. Before we start, let me first introduce the judges. First off, we have Carmen Dairit Padilla, otherwise known as Menchu. She is from high school class 1960 and is one of the most generous supporters of the scholarship program. Menchu was among the Centennial awardees and was also a former president of CHESA from 2004 to 2006. Menchu had quite an illustrious career, having dealt with promoting culture and arts through international organizations, NGOs, and the UNESCO. But more importantly for this event, Menchu is a concert pianist, and she has performed in major concert halls around the world. Our next judge is Eileen Dolina Novak. Eileen studied in CHS Manila from kindergarten until high school, graduating with class 90, uh, 1971. And guess what? She became one of the original members of the top 70s legendary show band, The New Minstrels. Eileen wow. now lives, she now lives in Sydney, Australia, where she dabbles in acting roles for ads, films, and TV shows, showbiz. Our third judge, who still wonder why, who still wonders why she was chosen to be one, because she can't really claim, uh, she can't, she claims she can't really carry a tune, is Miss Dada Miranda Kua. But for someone who also claims that she would rather dance means that she can carry a beat. <laughs> Apart from her role as Senior Vice President of PNB, heading its financial institutions division, Dada has been a member of the Chess of Board from 2018 up to present, and she's also our treasurer. Dada is a proud member of class HS77. So thank you judges for accepting our invitation for this pioneering contest to choose the very first chess of Vidyoke Queen. So at this point, let me call on Aileen Tonkuya to talk a bit about the rules of the chess of Vidyoke challenge. She will also be introducing our challengers today. Aileen. First of all, let us thank first our challengers, the three challengers who were courageous enough and spirited to join our uh, challenge, video okay challenge. The first one ever. Uh, now we, uh, we have three contestants from different batches. We have Debbie and Dota Sisko. Uh, and Judith Carrera Valenzuela. Uh, Debbie is from High School 77. Judith Carrera Valenzuela is from High School 73. And Marinette Galido Ortigas is from our own High School 71. Okay. Uh, these are our spirited ladies okay, who joined our uh, the karaoke challenge. Now, before the, we started the, uh, the, the program, we already ask them to draw dots okay? and as to, uh, to find out who will sing first and the second and the last one. And our first two singers for this uh, wave one is Debbie uh, Mendoza, who will sing Panaginip. And secondly, we also have Judith Ferreira, who will sing Next song. <laughs> ah, ang book mo. Okay. Now, to before we go with, to them, uh, before we hear them, let us first let me first explain the scoring system. Uh, the judges were given some criteria. I told you though this is fun. There's still some seriousness in them, and these are the intonation, intonation, and the timing dynamics. The musicality, that is the phrasing, and of course, the online presence. Now, each judge will give scores on these four criteria, and then later on, we'll just sum up all the, the one with the highest, uh, the highest uh, score. Okay? All right. So, let's start it. Good luck, ladies. 
Oh, ladies. Yay. Oh, no. <laughs> Hindi ako makapaliwala Ikaw ay aking piling Hindi ako makapaliwala Ako ay pinaka Kung ikaw ay sa Nakinip, ayoko na magising Kung ikaw ay isang at pilip Ayoko na magising Di ako makapaniwala Ikmo'y dinalihin Hindi ako makapaniwala Ako ang iyong napiling Kung ikaw ay sa malakip Ito ko na magising I need to comment. May I comment? Uh, can we reserve your comments for later, Ms. No, Mitchell? no. We need it now because you okay. know why? We don't need to see the text. What we need to see is the performer herself. Okay. So how can we... Uh, there is a criterion here that says online oh, presence. I saw, the, I saw the screen of her singing. I didn't see the words. So oh, I, I okay. didn't see her face. Yeah. I just saw the words. Oh, okay. mm. Maybe you can, uh, can you click? There's, a, there's an icon on the right of your screen that says view. And you can click speaker view. Yeah, I know. I know that, but it's not. Yes. Okay. So that, that will uh, show you the, the... That's a disadvantage that she has now. Okay. 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 Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Let's move on to the next contestant, Arlene. Okay, thank you, Debbie. Now we'll have Judy. Judy, wow, my mic pa siya talagang. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so Judith will sing kahit maputi na ang buhok mo. Okay, by Sharon. Buhok ko. <laughs> Go, Judith. Hello. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. We can hear you. 
Happy anniversary. Cannot hear. We cannot hear. Um, Judith. Judith, we cannot hear you. Excuse me. Your your microphone, please, Judith. Can you please test your mic? Um. Nakanyut naman ito. Nakanyut siya. Nakamalayu siya sa. Judith, can you talk, please? Ah, nakamute ka nga, nakamute ka. You're on mute, Judith. The volume in the computer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 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 Can you can you can you talk? I think you shouldn't use your mic. Your uh, ano na lang. Don't use your microphone na lang. Uh, use na lang your ano your gadgets. Ano. Okay. Mic. It's good. Okay. Yeah, no more mic. Yeah. So you have more. Uh, audio. Clear now. Audio. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Stop, please. Still cannot hear Judith. Judith, can you speak? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, you got. I think you need to be closer to the uh, to the speaker you're using now. Mm -hmm. Speaker. Ay, ano words? Uh, Arlene, pwede mo yung volume ng music. Uh, Christine. Uh, Christine, do you mind uh, reducing the volume of the of the music? Sound check. Sound check. Okay. Okay. Sound check. Start tayo from the start. Yes, yes please. I think it's the signal of her Wi-Fi signal. Uh, Judith, sorry, we really cannot hear you. It's to your disadvantage. So maybe we can, uh, can we um, do, we, can we, uh, can, her, can we put her in the next wave para you can first uh, yeah, yeah. check your, we can, you can check first your audio. Okay. okay. I think your signal, I think your signal is weak. So we will uh, first proceed with the next uh, part of the program, and then you will perform in the next wave with the third challenger. Is that okay? Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. So um, let's now move on first to the second installment of our video presentation. This the title was actually coined by Sister Victricia, and she narrated stories about the fantastic achievements of Chesap over the years. And we shall now show you the stories of the daughters of Chesap. Mm Oh, 
1985, when the Chesok board headed by Empress Sister Patricia, uh, the president then was Cynthia Ongpin Valdez, together with Carmen Carag, Filomena Reyes, uh, Carlos, and Renet Yonida Vera, they reached out to the residents of the Smoky Mountain who were relocated to Bulihan, uh, Silang Cavite. These are the outgoing Chesok members. So, they wanted to be assured of the continuity of the development of the, the, the developing work they have done in Bulian. So they started to organize and put up this Paraclet Foundation in with the same group and just added some of the alumna like Vicky Gachuterena. And they in, in fact included some businessmen like Jose Quisha and Armando Baltazar and Jose Lugay, and the sisters were Sister Victoria and Sister Rosalinda Argosino. And they registered this with SEC in 1988, the Jubilee, Diamond Jubilee year of our school. The Parklet Foundation assisted almost 6,000 families relocated from Smoky Mountain, relocated in Bulihan. You know, the funding is uh, coming from the members, lang, from the trustees, from the board of trustees. And then, you know, I still remember in one of our Jubilee years, in a, one of our, our batch, we also donated uh, some amount to the Par Paraclet Foundation. Eh. We bought a, a property in Bulihan para they can really make a uh, monitor they can really monitor uh, the projects they started with in Bulihan and they started the livelihood program for the mothers and the feeding program they were going there every weekend no they gave them a livelihood program pala, which is also uh, parang crochet that they taught the the mother to do some crochet and all the the products are being forced through chess up and they're selling it until they they were able to export now you know they put up a school paraclet foundation community school so they uh, aside from the nursery they already have a grade school. I think they started mga 50 students, pero it, it increased to mga 200. And then after 10 years, can you imagine ilang taon na sila, di ba? Yung mga incorporators. Pero in 2015, we decided to donate the school to the Diocese of Imus. The formal turnover was done only in 2019. July 2019, sayang ah, kamamatay lang ni, ni ng chairman namin, si ano, Filomena Carlos. So as of now, uh, parang wala na rin uh, Paraclet Foundation, pero we still have some funds kasi merong natira dun sa community school, may mga stalls for rent dun. They, we still get the money from the rent of the stall. And then now, what as Sister Victoria is doing now is we're helping the Mamian from yes. our parties foundation. Well, the idea of uh, of getting the alumni in the U.S. together came about in 1990 when Class 65 celebrated its uh, 25th. Uh, the uh, Silver Jubilee, ju Jubilee year. And those who attended came back to, to the States with stories of what fun they had. And so it was Ilo, uh, 
uh, Echevarria uh, Wallenstein, who lives in New York, that uh, we, uh, started the idea of replicating the, uh, the reunion in Manila in the States. So it started in New York in 1991, and uh, a, a big group showed up in Long Island. And so they, everybody enjoyed the reunion. It's not only Class 65, but other alumni in, in the tri-state area. And uh, some from as far as California came to New York. So then they said, okay, let's do it every two years. So that started it. So for 10 years, from 1991 up to, up to 1998, ELO was the kind of like the informal president. So, uh, so then when ELO decided that she had 10 years was in, and she was busy with, with her private business, she gave the uh, organization to, 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 um, to Lenore to handle. So Lenore says, okay, I'll take care of it for two years. But it, 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 she took care of the, the organization of, uh, uh, for four years. And it was during her term, during that year, when she said, you know, it would, we would be better organized if we incorporate. So it was during Lenore's term that uh, they organized it and they, they filed for incorporation in New York. And the name was, uh, it was very long, it was called CHS-HGC and then US Canada Foundation. So, so after Lenore, uh, 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 Lenore's four year term, she then gave, the, gave up the reins to Francis, Francis Tayag. She was the one who took it to the to the next level. She said, "It's no, it's not enough that we are just we are a corporation. We have to apply for a nonprofit status. We have to do something more substantial. And in order to be a, a, an organization of some of some substance, we have to be a, a an approved IRS nonprofit organization. So so." It was during Francis's term that we got the approval in 2005. So we had our first reunion conference in New York as a nonprofit organization. And we changed the name to a CHS North America Foundation Inc. First, let me say the chestnut is made up of both paid and unpaid members. Uh, if you're gonna count everybody, even the inactive ones, uh, we will be about 2,000. And the active ones is uh, those who, uh, we base that number on the attendees of our grand reunion. So it's about uh, three to 400. The activities we engage in are mainly to um, assist CHSM in its uh, survival and its growth. And the uh, management of Chestnut at that time in 2005, 6, 7 have decided that there are two main programs to, to uh, uh, promote, and that's uh, scholarship and faculty development. And I also want to add, because you were talking about activities, we have several prayer groups of uh, Chestnut. I just wanted to add that to, you know, we're just not all about bonding or raising funds, but that we had, we have about three prayer groups that are happening uh, on a daily basis. With the announcement of the closing of Mendiola, we at Chesnuff here in North America reviewed and revised the foundation's objectives. It can no longer be school centric. We, however, pledge to continue supporting our scholars until they graduate. We also have decided to support our SSPS congregations in their ministries and schools in other parts of the country when the urgent need arises. We will also support some international or domestic charitable organizations like those affecting climate change or those helping preserve our planets. We will continue to grow the foundation through active membership recruitment donations and requests from members and friends. With 
cooperation from our partners in CHESAF, Mendiola, we will promote and sustain our core values of truth in love. We also encourage our geographic chapters to do their own projects in their local communities and continue in keeping the spirit alive. Okay, I took over as CHESAF president in uh, March of 2014. Um, very traumatic because when I stepped in, we were informed by the SSPS sisters that they were going to, the word they used was disengage from the management of the school. Basically, what they were telling us at that time was they were going to close the school and sell it, lock, stock, and barrel. Uh, the chess of board at that time, uh, we had an emergency meeting and we all decided let's do everything we can to save the school. So what we did was I initially called a meeting with the SSPS uh, provincial leadership team. That's the, uh, it's like the uh, le leadership of the local congregation. What we wanted to emphasize was what are the reasons behind, behind the disengagement? And basically they were telling us that um, it wasn't about the money, it was merely because they felt that they didn't have enough qualified sisters to run the school. So one of the sisters looked at me straight. I will not mention the name of the sister, but she looked at me straight and said, Makakayo, you might, might want to take over. So at that time, remember, we weren't even considering taking over the management of the school, but she gave us that idea. So from March 2014, uh, we started making several business plans. So we said uh, we need to have to form a smaller group to really focus on saving the school. So the board uh, came up with a alumni core group. They were, these were 10 women uh, who will be charged with uh, taking care of the negotiations with the sisters. In September of 2015, Finally, the sisters said, we have a plan. So they said, we will just hire the alumni to manage the school. So therefore, you must form a management corporation, a for-profit corporation, because you're, you're going to be paid a management fee. So in September of 2015, the Chesaf board uh, decided, okay, let's just... Um, have the alumni core group, the 10 ladies, to form the Alumni Management Corporation. So that's how it came about. We, the 10 women, we came up with our own personal funds and um, used it to form the corporation. It was uh, Yola Albano, Tonette Brion, Angie Madrid, Grace Massinon, Ging Ong, uh, Menchu Padilla, Cynthia Picasso, Lorraine Young, Cillian Teng, Diana Gobbio, and myself. So unbeknownst to others is that we never really made money out of that because uh, half of it was used for, the manage, for uh, running the company, but whatever we saved, we, we returned back to the school. So while there was a fixed rate, we never really got that rate. We, we plowed it back to the school because we knew that we knew the school was not doing well financially. You know, what people don't uh, realize is that we, AMC ceases to exist. The, our contract with the sisters was from uh, May of 2016 up to April of 2021. So the moment the contract expired, we we decided as we met as a corporation and we decided to dissolve the corporation. So basically AMC is no longer existing. Um, God had other plans. We may have the best laid out plans. We may have the best intention plans, but if it's not God's plan, it won't happen.
in the end, what matters most, I think, is that your worth comes from the fact that you are a child of God. And that you may not please everyone, but the only important thing is that you please God. And you do that by staying true to His teachings, staying uh, true to the people who really love and support you. That is my biggest lesson. Thank you for that. Medyo naiyak ako doon. <laughs> anyway, following that eye-opening and very insightful narrative, here's now a song number from one of Chesaf's daughters performing Lean on Me. I am very proud to present the voices and faces of 35 alumni of the College of the Holy Spirit who gather every night without fail to pray for others.
All right. Thank you very much, Chesna, for that number. Uh, call them if you need their help, <laughs> but they're kind of far away. But anyway, uh, they always pray for everyone. So every night, the prayer weavers of Chesna are praying for all of us. Thank you very much. So now let's move on to the second wave of our video. Okay, I hope the sound system of Judith is already working. So let's give it a try again. Can you enable your uh, Judith Valenzuela? Uh, your cell phone along with our donating us. Okay, let's see how it works. Uh, Nage echo yung sound ni Judith. Christine, shall you play the music? Magleave na ito. Ayan, ayan. Okay. Dito? Can we spotlight Judith, please? Ano na? Feel na feel pa naman ni Judith ang kanta. Sayang. Okay. Judith, can you please uh, say something so we can uh, see if we can... Like this. Okay. okay, that's better. Okay, thank you. All right, let's go. Kung tayo'y matanda na, sana'y di tayo magbago. Kailanman pangarap Magkuha mo pa kayang ako'y hagan at yakapin. Hanggang sa pagtanda natin, nagtatanong lang sa'yo, pagkaya'y mo. Kung maputi na ang tubuk ko Sa tingnang araw Ang iyong buhok Ay puputi na rin Sabay tayong pangangarap sa atin ang nakalipas ay ibabalik natin ipapaalala ko sa'yo ang ating pangako ang pag-ibig ko'y labing sa'yo Putin na ang gusto. Paalala ko sa'yo Ang aking nahapon Ang pag-ibig ko'y laging sa'yo Kahit mabutin na ang tubuk ko Kahit mabutin na ang Saya-saya ni Judith. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, she really made a smile there. Okay, 
Next, contestant Arlene. Okay. Next one, we have Marinette. Garrido Ortigas. Okay, and she'll render the song O Lumapit Ka. All right. Marisa. Okay. Can we test first if it's going, if my voice will come out? Okay. Your with voice um, music. Seems okay. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. Very strong okay. reception. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Isa pang makapag So those were our three challengers and thank you so much sa super feeling na rendering ng oh, lumapit ka. <laughs> so later we will know the winner of our video challenge. In the meantime, uh, we will now move on to the third part of our video presentation, this time highlighting the mission and services of CHESA. just uh, be clear no, that the previous boards had scholarship programs. It's not as if it's the first time CHESOF is giving out scholarships. Uh, previous boards had scholarship programs, but the numbers were much less. Uh, well, that's because early on in our term, or even prior to our term, uh, we already uh, we're aware of the problems of the school. So we were thinking of what we could possibly do to help the school in a more significant way. We wanted to have an impact on a, on a higher level. So, uh, we wanted to uh, help particularly financially disadvantaged students. Um, 
it was a very ambitious project. We were 100 years old, and we don't we know we know that in our lifetime we will not reach the 200th year, right? Anniversary. So we said, okay, we will just go for it. 100 scholars in 100 years. So we were very happy that we got 12 new scholars in 2011, 56 in 2012, and 73 in 2013. So adding up the the scholars who were there at that time during the centennial, we had 100 scholars. So these 100 scholars needed a lot of support. So thank you so much to my board. And we had six fundraisers. So we're so happy that all these six projects that we did in two years gave us 2.7 million pesos. Um, I think for as long as the fire for love, you know, the Holy Spirit inspired love, and the, and the love for truth, love in truth, that Chesaf as Chesaf will continue some type of a scholarship program. When we had our jubilees and we had to be rehearsing and all that, for me, it was uh, a way of getting it back together. I mean, among class, former classmates, uh, being that we are so far apart geographically, we would come together. I don't know how else to put it, but coming home is essential. It should not be just a day to have a good time but it's the emotional the emotional contacts that you make once again with people that you grew up with that people that you had fun with and uh, how to keep that alive how to keep that going i don't know whether i have the answers for that you know now homecomings fall under service to the alumni. But you know, homecomings alone cannot be the main purpose of CHESA. It must have to have a meaning and purpose and have and must do something of social value. Hindi lang socialan, you know. Uh, so it's good that uh, CHESA during the past years have done both very well because we had uh, this fundraising for scholarship we also have the Save the Audit Fund, and we were able to help the school. And because everything that this, uh, the CHESAF did had unity of purpose, that is one thing we should not lose that unity of purpose. Uh, it brought the alumni together. I believe it was um, September last year when architect Galicia um, guided us through interesting places in in Manila and then it was followed by other webinars which Chesa thought would be interesting to alumni we had a web webinar on the environment and then a webinar on how to beautify our Christmas. Then we had um, a talk on metabolic syndrome. Then we had a seminar on Yaman ng Dagat of the Philippines, where beautiful, interesting creatures in our underwater were shown. And then the latest is um webinar on reiki healing on how to use god's uh and the universe's energy for healing people what people said uh, very very affirming they appreciated the choice of topics and um, delivery by the um, speakers chesaf is asking the alumni for suggestions on topics that we can use for our future webinars. It would have it would be a mix of personal, um, mental, intellectual growth, but also maybe webinars on self-care, 
um, medical and otherwise, the alumni is a wealth of expertise and knowledge. So we have a big pool of speakers whom we can invite. Uh, when I first became a member of the board in 2018 and also in 2019, uh, the only spiritual activity that we had was an annual Requiem Mass. It's only in 2020, 2020 during the term of our late beloved Marisa Camacho, wherein we started planning to have more of these activities, especially due to the lockdown. In December of 2020, we had our first ever virtual Simbangabi. Our priest was Father Larry Tan, SDB. He was with us for nine um, days of the Novena Masses. It's like it was a lesson that we were learning back in our religion classes. And what is uh, made it more meaningful and significant was for our alumni, many of whom said they never were able to complete the nine days of Simbangabi. That was the very, very first time that they completed nine days of the Novena Masses. In March of 2021, we had our first ever Lenten recollection, this time with Father Anselm Manalastas OSB. And mind you, we're, we were very happy to be able to invite our SSPS sisters in Poinsettia. So they were part of that activity. Aside from the Lenten recollection, uh, there was this great suggestion to have a virtual Visita Iglesia, provided us the opportunity to visit seven of the most beautiful and oldest churches in the country. Physically, Many of us will not be able to do this, but because of our virtual Visita Iglesia and also thanks to Cora, we were able to flash on screen those pictures of those beautiful churches. And mind you, we also had participation. I think this was the highest among our spiritual activities. On Zoom, we had around 450 participants. We also held our first healing mass, the talk by Dr. Joe Bilasano, and also the healing mass with Father June Padua. There will, there's a request for follow-ups on this because everybody now needs healing. Our official CHESAF website now has a prayer room. Our SSPS sisters in Poinsettia receive this prayer request and they do pray for healing, for whatever are the requests of those who send in these um, messages. And aside from that, there is also a section there in memoriam. We pray for them and remember them in that section of in memoriam. And these names we will include again in our Rikiam Mass. So as long as there is a clamor, there is a request from our alumni, I think Chesap should uh, continue having these spiritual activities. It helps to strengthen us when we know that we are all praying together. It's Roxanne Bilardo who, who initiated the week. Because uh, she wanted uh, to have the alumni stay connected updated with the latest news and announcements and continue to be inspired with the work that never ended even if when we left the school already. It was very well received because um, the alumni uh, would contribute a lot of materials for the week. As the editor, I would write the editorial and then we have uh, contributions from the, let's say, the the existing Chesap board at that time. We had to print the Wii and uh, actually send it even as far uh, out as overseas. We started sending via email through the link 
through a website that she started. We may have uh, come out a little late, but uh, there was never a time that we did not publish the we. We always wanted uh, to keep the alumni uh, informed about all the things that were happening. Uh, until now, we send Dali sends a few copies to the nuns. Now, we have them in the website again. And in fact, it is easier to read the we via the website. Let me first say that this is the very first uh, communications committee of CHESAF and I uh, specifically volunteered for this role because I see the importance of communications in terms of connecting the alumni uh, as much as we could. No? And luckily we have the uh, we have the opportunity of using information technology to be able to reach out to as many people as we could. And with that, we have two approaches. One is on the front end, the other is on the back end. On the front end, uh, we use social media and then uh, our website as well to be able to send out our messages across and also to gather feedback from the alumni. And then on the back end, we use Zoom and PowerPoint, Zoom, to be able to uh, connect and then uh, PowerPoint to be able to produce a more interesting uh, presentation each time we uh, reach out to the alumni. They're extremely effective uh, because it allows us to reach across the whole world and in fact we get a lot of audiences each time uh, from North America, from you know, from even from Europe and uh, different parts of Asia. So, and it also hastens our ability to provide better material uh, and uh, make it more interesting also for our alumni. For Facebook, uh, it's very easy for us to come up with instant announcements and also to be able to gather uh, immediate feedback because there is a thread where people can respond. I was the one in charge of Viber. We came up with some guidelines uh, so that it will be uh, organized, the information and also the feedback. And so far, it has been working. And uh, though at, at times there were some uh, glitches, but uh, lately we've found out a way to make sure that everything is uh, organized and in proper information are disseminated and so far the connection and also the um, camaraderie has continued because of it uh, we were able to listen to them okay in as much as uh, you know they can they are very free in giving their opinions because truthfully there are also differences in opinions even if we all came from the same school okay so we are able to get that feedback and we're able to balance it also for all the alumni and how to respond to it. And then for the website, we were able to get a professional to help us. But more importantly, we got the support of the board uh, to get the funding and to be able to generate the uh, materials and the resources to be able to do this. We were able to develop the website in just two months, which is quite an incredible uh, feat for us. The response has been extremely strong and uh, people were very positive about it. They like the design and the functionality of the website. Uh, before I end, I'd like to also thank the members of the committee, of the communications committee, uh, including our president, Ms. Ging Ong, and of course, Arlene Songkuya and Vicky Del Rosario and Miss Dali Gabriel, that includes Banji Kuwa as well. They've all been very supportive in all of our efforts in enhancing the communication process for chess. Okay, thank you very much. Um, following the discussion about the website, I should also 
thank our late president, Ms. Marisa Camacho, who really helped us push the creation of our current website. She believed in institutionalizing this form of communication by making sure that a budget was put in place for both its development and its upkeep every year. With that, I'd like to segue to the next part of our program. May I now call on our current president, Ms. Ging Ong, to do the honors in presenting the posthumous leadership award for Marisa Camacho, her sister Chacha, uh, brothers uh, JR and Boy Camacho are with us today uh, to witness this event. And uh, I think Boy will be here to receive the award. And there's also a message from uh, JR later. Uh, Ging? Yes. Before I read out the citation, let me flash on screen. This is the very nice plaque we will be giving to our dear Marisa. Let me now read the dedication. Okay. The College of the Holy Spirit, the College of the Holy Spirit Alumni Foundation hereby presents the posthumous exemplary leadership award. Maria Socorro, Marisa, and Camacho on this 12th day of June, 2021 for her selfless dedication in steering CHSAF towards greater self-sufficiency and professionalism, inclusiveness and sustainability. Signed, Guillermina M. Ong, Chess of President, Sister Eden Panganiban, SSPS, Board Advisor. Again, can you again show the uh, plaque of appreciation oh, because so earlier you were not spotlighted. Yeah. All right, here. So Can may everyone I know? see you? Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. May we know if um, Boy Camacho is here? Kuya Boy Camacho? Mr. Mix Camacho? No, uh, uh, Mix is... Yes, uh, yes I'm here. Okay. I am... Uh, ayun na, ang kapangalan sa akin, Braveheart. Ah, Braveheart. Ah, Braveheart. Okay. So it's a spotlight po namin kayo. <laughs> Thank you, Paul, for joining. Okay. Please go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in behalf of our, uh, of our family, um, uh, all of us, the siblings, and uh, uh, the surviving uh, son of uh, Marisa, Jet, uh, Jet uh, Camacho Reyes, uh, her two daughters-in-law, Casey Reyes and uh, Anna Camacho. We are thanking uh, all of you very, very much uh, for, the for the love that uh, you have shown uh, my uh, my beloved sister. By the way, I am uh, I am the eldest with the sibling, and then she's uh, uh, the next one uh, to me, and then the third one is our uh, brother Lito, the former Secretary of Finance, and uh, Chacha, and uh, and our brother in Chicago, uh, Joe Mati, and uh, and the youngest. So. Uh, we are really very, very thankful for all of you. And I'd like you to know that that my sister really loves all of you. No? Uh, she really regards all of you as her uh, blood sisters. Uh, pag sinabi mo, college of Holy Spirit, ayan, ano lang siya very, uh, uh, ano lang siya, very intense siya pag, uh, pagka Holy Spirit na. And also, uh, I'd like you to know that our mother, Leonardo Camacho is also a uh, is also an alumni member uh, of your school, which was which were formerly the whole the Holy Ghost College. The Banuara Holy Ghost College. So again, uh, uh, we are very uh, much that you have uh, given. Uh, 
an award to our uh, beloved sister. And, uh, and uh, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, Kuya Boy. I will also play the video that was sent by JR. Hi, good morning. I am JR Camacho, the young brother of Marisa. With our sudden and tragic loss of Ate Marisa, one of our major consolation is the love that she has received from uh, the Chesa. Um, with this, it is my honor to receive this award in her behalf. Uh, maraming maraming salamat to sa inyo and congratulations on your 40th anniversary. Thank you, JR, and thank you, Kuya Boy. So uh, we now, thank you. Thank, um, you. thank you, Po. Having set the tone for awards and citations, I'd like to break the news that the Board of Chesup has also decided to acknowledge and thank the WE editors for their dedication and commitment with certificates of appreciation. Since its maiden issue in 1958, our newsletter, WE the Alumni, has recorded, documented, and reported Chesup's programs and activities. It has also encouraged the alumni to be partners of the foundation in its work. During those years, the, the WE has been one of the vital links of the foundation of the alumni community. And so today, Chesup honors the generous efforts of the editors who are the movers of the WE. Please know, however, that the list of honorees today may not be complete. While all efforts were exerted to cite all the editors, we may still have missed out a few names because there were numerous issues without editorial boxes. And so some editors remain anonymous or at least under the radar. Regardless, their contributions are as valuable as these ladies in our list today. It starts off with Teresita Nitoreda, who was the editor, the very first editor in 1958. She was followed by Leticia Tubangi Sala, Gilia Alegre Manzano, Chona Trinidad, Nisa Soriano Verhel de Jos, Maria Luz Ituralde, Roxanne Mendoza Bellardo, Catherine de Jesus Bellosilio, Cherry Manzano Carlos, one of my batchmates, Rose Na Navarro Monasterial, Belma Toledo Villa, Maria Teresa O. Vélez, Victoria Torres del Rosario, who is also our current editor, Remedios S. Dizon, and Veronica Fenix Villa Vicencio. To the we, the alumni editors, we express our sincere appreciation. Maraming maraming salamat po. Um, I think, Vicky, would you like to show the photos? Because we sent the uh, certificates of appreciation uh, early enough, so uh, the recipients were able to uh, send photos of them with the certificates. Vicky? So yes, uh, so these are the photos of the uh, recipients of the uh, certificates of the uh, certificates of appreciation for the week. All right. So now, coming out from behind the scenes are some of the past and present. We editors with special greetings to the Chesup alumni.
Congratulations, Chesa, on your 40th year anniversary. Thank you for keeping the alumni here and abroad informed, connected, and inspired. May God bless you with many more glorious years. Cheers! Happy anniversary, Chesa! Extra, extra! Extra, extra! Happy 40th anniversary, Chesa! Uh, thank you for all the years of service to our alumni. Rest assured that you'll be editors will continue to write about and report about the activities of the foundation. We hope to link the foundation with all the alumni here and abroad. Onwards to the 50th. Cheers! Alright, uh, before we uh, go to the fourth installment of our video presentation and the, that will be the last. May I now call in Ms. Vicky Nanyagas who will be sharing some bits of information about the 40th anniversary edition of the Chess of Ruby memorabilia items. Ms. Vicky? Hello. Good morning. Um, we have limited edition memorabilia items that we want to make available to all our alumni. Uh, the first, of course, is uh, the Chesa 40th anniversary t-shirt. Um, I, I think my mirror image doesn't do justice. So this is it. This is the logo. There I mean, is a photo. Uh, all of us have bring now there. Okay. So those are uh, two of our uh, memorabilia items, the t-shirt. Okay. And uh, you can order uh, Limitang. So initially we said that we will only get 40 pieces to celebrate the anniversary. Okay. So... Uh, it's red and the logo you want to decide um, designed by Chi Panistane. Okay, so the t-shirt is available in few sizes, large, uh, small, large, uh, they cost 350 and the excellent above cost 400 Okay. And then we also have our memorabilia mask with the same uh, low design. And uh, on one side, it's a logo, and on back side, it's chair in writing. Uh, we also have some bracelets. Um, slide, please. And we see the bracelets. Vicky, the bracelets there. There, okay. So these are special uh, bracelets that we had uh, mentioned, but the uh, uh, and is also the one manufacturing, but she offered to us for our limited memorabilia. So these are beads. We have red beads and blue beads, and we have glass or transparent beads. We have the same pendant, just the Holy Spirit, on one side, and the other side you have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so these bracelets cost 50. Um, our 
uh, please indicate your your color preference no, for that. And if you would like in box or in a pouch. Um, there are also two sizes, one regular, uh, 17 uh, cm, I think, and the other one 18. You can order them since since they're limited uh, edition. Um, you can order them through your uh, class reps, and the class reps will communicate with uh, us, no, in Chesa, because um, this not be online forever. So we are not going to put them in a, in a website or ordering form. Okay, so this will be uh, only available. Uh, for limited time, I'll slice that uh, 40 items. And then um, so just let us know your name, your press, a number of, or of uh, items that you need. And then we will uh, make sure to get back to you with the details. Okay. So please communicate them through your class reps uh, who will then in communicate it with the memorable committee. Okay. If you like to, you're also welcome to directly uh, address it on our um, uh, CHS official class website. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Miss. And Vicky. cheers. Cheers. Yes. I think Thank it's really good. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. All right. So finally, we'll be showing the last installment of our video presentation entitled Celebrations, Recognitions, and Keeping the Spirit Alive. Actually, connection then from my and the chess up but okay. then start from the from the beginning please this is already the middle of the thank you So exciting, and every, everybody was there. And I think that was what was two, two days or three days. And um, we had so many things happening uh, during those uh, days. What it involved was all the arrangements for the Gila Night, uh, which was at SMX. So we did all of the arrangements for that, the collateral, the design, the script. I think it was a wonderful opportunity to look back from the beginnings of uh, Holy Spirit and to trace the history to where it was. That was for me the most memorable part is really seeing how it developed. And so when I did the Centennial and I could see their stories come alive from photos, from documentaries, etc., that for me was nice. Plus, I think that it's something that's really, truly remarkable about the CHS is that we really live the values that were taught to us in school. And I could see that um, shining through uh, with every CHS that I met. It started in 2011. Uh, we had it at uh, the Veritas Hall at uh, CHS, uh, Mendiola. Uh, we invited some nuns from the 
from the convent of Ponsetia, and then they were able to attend. It was just a small gathering. And then they found out na it was accessible and uh, easy for the nuns to attend, no? Kasi malapit. So, uh, the next party was scheduled to be at the convent. That started it. There were games and dancing. We had loot bags for the caregivers and the nuns. And then there were uh, students from different batches who attended the parties. Even the nuns were dancing. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the line dancing. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, we brought entertainers to the to the convent like uh, Chingoy Alonso, and he even brought uh, his fellow actors from the theater to the to the convent. MCs at that time was Grace Masenon and Lala Laforteza, my sister. Oh, the sisters were very happy. In fact, uh, one of the sisters said, you know, we may not remember your names, but we know you make us happy. We were like children going back to their moms uh, to give them, you know, a share of our blessing and time. It's just a small gesture, no? To show our grateful to show how grateful we are. Well, the sisters look forward in uh look always look forward in having this Christmas party. So we make it a point that uh it will be a, a different and enjoyable compared to the last Well, it is very fitting to celebrate the 40th year milestone of CHESA. Uh, from its original status as an association, it has evolved into a spirited foundation. Its past presidents and board members have achieved very substantial achievements uh, which merits to be highlighted. So it's really fitting to celebrate the, the achievements of uh, the CHESA. My most memorable moments in Chesaf are the yearly homecoming celebrations when alumni, both young and old, uh, all women of substance, go up on stage. They let loose their love for alma mater CHS, their love for life, and their love for each other. Well, amidst the sadness of the pending closure of uh, Chesaf, our challenge just remains in keeping the alumni connected. Regardless of the new uh, normal uh, brought about by this COVID pandemic, we shall attempt to provide an effective communication system via the website and our publication, The We, to ensure that the spirit lives on. The initiative came from Dr. Pilina Young. But of course, during the awarding, she invited the SSPS leadership to be part to, to award. So it became like the award of the school and the congregation. Uh, my insights are, our alumni are not honors conscious. Their classmates knew them very well, but the significant contributions they had for the country, for the region, for humanity, you know, it's not trumpeted. You don't see any big gathering, small or big gathering that they put in society page before. You know? That's one thing that I noticed with our alumni. But I will acknowledge one awardee that was really put up by the committee, and that has given a road shot. Well. And you know what for? We are acknowledging all those in public service, in institutions in the country. How about the thousands of mothers who are quietly at home, raising their children in the spirit of very tough in Caritate? That Irma Road Shaswell represents all the mothers who are raising their children in the spirit of very tough in Caritate. The criteria of the CHESAF, it does give uh, distinguished uh, aw uh, awards every year during the um, uh, alumni, diba? So we got that. And then we also looked at other schools 
that had uh, similar um, awards. So we kind of pulled it together. But we, of course, we based it on the mission vision of the school. It had to be, that's the core. It had to follow the mission of the school. I was awed at the, what the school really has done for, for the country because uh, it has produced so much, so many um, graduates who contributed to making life better in, in this world. The graduates were really proud of their, of their sisters. At the same time, uh, they were really fighting for their sisters as well to be to be, I know, to be uh, part of the nominees, to be nominated and to win, and to be part of the awardees. So the sisterhood, yeah, that that blew me away. Also, we had to celebrate the formation, uh, the mission of the sisters that they passed on to us, the graduates. Um, I think that's part, really, the first, the most important part of the charism why they have education. It's because. We had they, they had to develop uh, graduates who will continue the, the the mission in in the lay in the lay world in, in, in the, wherever you are placed wherever you're placed wherever you whatever profession you you choose to be in that you will contribute to make this world a better place. Dear alumni, congratulations to all of you. Uh, not just to the jubilarians this year, but to the whole College of the Holy Spirit Alumni Foundation. Uh, celebrating 40 years is really a happy occasion to not just to recall what happened in the past, to reap the harvest, the bountiful harvest the different groups, different boards have done and have contributed towards the growth of the chess up. But it's also an occasion to, to look at the present, uh, to be amazed at the movement of the spirit, and to look forward with, with joy, with uh, joyful anticipation towards the future. I, I really uh, felt so grateful for how the spirit has been kept alive in the hearts of our alumni. I got to know, I, I, I got involved with Chesaf only in 2016, before you know, when I was here so many years ago as, as president of the college. There was not much actually connection then from my experience between between the school and the chess up. But then uh, when I got involved in it, I, I got to know persons, alumni, not just the foundation. And I, I wonder, when in moments of darkness, that's where the light of the spirit shines through. In moments of confusion, that's when the spirit is really kept alive. It's like the scene of the resurrection when the risen Lord breathed forth the Spirit to the apostles in locked doors, received the Spirit. Now, I, I'm referring to the recent development in our alma mater, the decision of the congregation to, to close the school after 100 years of existence. But then, instead of, of sadness, there's much energy being generated collectively by the alumni from different sectors, from different corners of the world. In this phrase, the spirit lives on and that the legacy of the College of the Holy Spirit is the alumna herself and collectively the alumni foundation. The, the, the school may, may not exist anymore, but the ideals, the, the values that have been imbibed by the graduates continue to live on the last year no, really has has uh generated 
a lot of of life, of enthusiasm, of interest, of commitment, of passion for for the foundation. You embody the the spirituality, no? The spirituality of of the gospel. Uh, it's not it's not just mouth thing. Veritas in caritate is not just mouth thing. The spirit is alive, but the spirit is the one that I can imagine. The spirit is the one that jolts each one of you out of bed in the morning, offering herself. What more can I do today? What can I offer the Lord? And at the end of the day, before going to bed, like the the word, the last word, the last thought is, "Thank you, Spirit, for breathing into me." for for taking me as as your instrument i mean i'm i'm not saying this as a nun as a religious missionary sister for 44 years now but i i i i feel it i experience it among you that's why uh though when when sister carmelita our provincial asked me to to head the school in its terminal year i asked if I could be relieved of my my work here with you as alumni, but then uh, she said, "Think about it." So when I thought about it, I will be depriving myself of the energy I I breathe from you collectively. You know? uh, it's not more uh, more than what I could give the limited time I have. It's more what what I really catch, what I receive from you as individual board member, individual alumna, but also collectively. So I, I'm, I'm really, uh, I can say that spirituality knows no bounds. And uh, so I, when I look at the future of Jessa, I see it as women and men, a few men who would come after, after the 80s, now after the, yeah, that the school may have been closed but the spirit lives on and the spirit knows no bounds for as long as there are graduates who give themselves their life and their share in making the world a better place in proclaiming the good news then the spirit of of chesa continues so once more congratulations for having reached this milestone more 40 years and beyond. Let the spirit live on. 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 We hope you found that production both enlightening and inspiring. Chesaf will now honor all the batches of our alumni with this photo collage 
produced by Arlene Abadzong Kuya with the background song Oceans, sung by one of Chesap scholars, Miss Christine Madera. Thank you so much, Arlene and Christine, for that number. Uh, sana medyo naiyak kayo ng konti. <laughs> anyway, and we now we will now announce the winner of the Chesov's very first video kit challenge. And to that, may I call on Miss Menchu Padilla to do the honors.
This is not an easy thing to do. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say that it's a very energetic and creative chess of board that we have. Congratulations for this great production that you have just uh, presented to us. Thank you. Um, and also, well, regarding our karaoke challenge, my first uh, suggestion was not to have a competition, but to just have these three gutsy ladies perform as guests. <laughs> and I think we have to congratulate them for accepting the challenge. Yes. So let's give them a big hand. <laughs> Yay! Yes, yes. Hindi madali. Hindi madali nila. So, uh, I'd like to uh, thank our judge, our, my co-judges, uh, Eileen and Dada. Um, we, uh, I think we all share the same sentiments that uh, we are forced <laughs> to we are forced to choose the top. Mm. Anyway, so in our scoring, uh, we are giving the first uh, prize to da, da, da. Marinette. Oh. Marinette. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi. Oh. Oh. HS71. And, <gasps> yes, class 71. Oh. And the other two, I will give a second and third. I will just say the other two are all as good. Um, so I will not say the second or third. They are just both good. So <laughs> congratulations to all. Thank you. Yes. And uh, we were just discussing before this. I said, my price pala. Alam ba yung may price pala kayo? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I just found out now. Uh, Round trip to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Care of Diana. <laughs> it's a the cruise. First, the first prize would would maybe we could announce that too. The first prize is three thousand for the winner, and Thank I was you. trying to push up the prices for the second for the other two, but we'll give five. They have assigned five hundred each, but. We will add memorabilia. Yeah. Like that. Yes. <laughs> Wala pang permiso yan ang board. Ha? Yung lang kami, kami lang nag-usap. <laughs> they deserve it. So congratulations yes, to Thank our you so uh, much. challenger. Thank you. And I think that was a good job done. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Menchu. So may pakinabang talaga ang lakas ng loob. <laughs> Oo, ah? talaga. Yes. Malaking bagay yun. Oo. Tsaka yung hindi nag-volunteer, tinulak lang. Yeah. <laughs> so congratulations, Marinette. Uh, you are Thank very you. first video ke queen, Chesa. Yeah. So we will uh, find another occasion to for someone to challenge you in the future. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay. All it, all it takes is guts, right? Correct. Yes. Gutsy talaga. Gutsy silang tatlo. Gutsy. Uh -huh. So yeah, that nice. really nice. added nice. added to the fun for today. And uh, by the way, all the videos are uh, available in our YouTube channel, Chessa Official. Uh, so you can uh, go and view it there if you want to uh, internalize a little bit more about the stories of Chessa. And to close today's program, may I call on the events committee chairperson, Ms. Mila Karel Paraiso, to deliver her closing remarks. Mila? Hey. Hello, everybody. I know you're hungry by now. Maybe some of you are sleepy. But hopefully, before we end this program, let us thank the Lord for giving us this chance to get together uh, to celebrate the 40th year of the College of the Holy Spirit and the Main Foundation. A very special occasion to remain its, its formation, its goal, objectives, and achievements, all the officers in their turn tenure did their very best to make it successful. It lasted 40 years. Congratulations for all your good works. 
and many thanks to all our Ches Chesap Chesnap members. We are sure that uh, our effort a wonderful apostolate of 40 years bore positive results fully, fruitfully to all our beneficiaries. Somehow, it made their life, uh, it made a difference in their lives. Times, situations, even attitudes have changed, brought about by this pandemic. This is a big challenge for everybody. Let us just remember there is nothing impossible if we pray, we work on it, and God will it. Let us pray again to the Holy Spirit to give us the grace to be in good health, be strong, have fortitude, and to let us grow more in love, be strong, generosity, and goodness, generosity, and above all, give us the guide to work on it and how to do, to do about it and how the processes will be in the next future time. We need to reaffirm, replan, re-examine, reassess, reassess and to fit and adjust to the changes that is brought about by these conditions. To all our benefactors and to all those involved in the project. You may say, thank you Lord, making us an instrument of the College of the Holy Spirit Alumni Foundation. May I request, ladies and gentlemen, to please unmute yourselves and to raise your hands and to form Unmute. Please uh, open your videos and your Unmute yourself. What's that love noise? Love is sharing. Love is sharing. Love is sharing. Love is sharing. Love 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 is sharing. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Thank you, congratulations for three hours. Thank you. 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 Congrats, everybody. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank Congratulations! You so yes. Hello, uh, uh, alive. Yes. Ora, yes. I wanted I wanted Chesnaf to be represented at the karaoke contest. <laughs> we did yeah. anything for you. We, and, uh, for you. Uh, we, we wanted Yoli. We wanted Yoli, who <laughs> sings very well, to do it, but she didn't want to. I wanted to present myself. They paid me not to join. Diana, give chances to others. Ivana, we will hold another event, just a video yeah. challenge event. So, Ned is my winner. So Diana will have a chance. So Diana, uh, next time you have to volunteer. Huh? <laughs> They paid me not to join. Akaya daw. Ang pagulo lang yan si Diana. Wala na galing yung picture na ba tayo? Can we have a picture taking? We can have our picture taking now if you like. Yes, we can. Okay. Don't send the please please don't send the message so that it will not uh. No chat. Please don't yeah. send chats, please. No chats, uh, yes. no chats. No chats please. Who's taking it? <laughs>
Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll all take pictures. One. Okay. Come on, don't send message. I'm sorry. All right, turn on your cameras. Okay. <laughs> okay, some more. Hi, Kalin. Hi, Tita. Hello. Hi, Noor. Kalin, is your mom still there? Hi, Gloria. Uh, yeah, uh, she's here. <laughs> Pero si Hi, Monette. Hi, Ron. Hi, Ron. How are you? I'm Tana. so happy to see you. Good to see Hi, you. Congratulations. Long Your hair is long Hi, Gina. Hi, Gina. Hi, Gina. The picture taking over. Hi, baby. Hi, Monette. Hi. 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 Hello, Manchu. Hi. Hi. Hello. Gloria, nice to see you. All of you. Gloria, Gloria, you're Hello. catching up with me. Uh, uh, with your oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is our badge. <laughs> Jeanette, congratulations. Marinette. Thank you. Mila, Angkor. nice message, Mila. Angkor, Angkor, Marinette. Angkor. <laughs> so, yung jubilar yan ang ganalo. <laughs> yeah. I had ah, sila tatlo panalo naman tatlo silang panalo mahirap <laughs> yan hirap kumanta mahirap oh, yan no. <laughs> all that talaga okay congratulations bye bye have a good day talk to you all good night good night, good night. Good night. Good night. see you soon thank you thank you thank you Bye everyone. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Stay safe, everyone. Bye. 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 B